Hey guys, so Lux here, back with our blind playthrough of Deus Ex. So last time... Oh, hey. <clears throat> Crack the back a little bit. Last time we raided the kitchen, drank all of the wine, ate all of the soy. You'd think they'd have different food around, but I guess not. And that's, that's fine. That's acceptable. I don't know how much we can run. But our leg is not fully broken anymore. So there's two... Right, is it go down two flights of stairs? Is that what they said? Which is... Yeah. So this is probably where the gold is. Let's see. Notes. Uh, key to Sidon's Vault, 1942, probably. 1942. Columbus sailed the ocean blue. It's secure. I mean, I guess. Area location bonus. Right. Oh, look at all those tripwires. And Ambrosia. And... I don't hear a camera. I mean, I do, but I think it's that other one. Any enemies? We have a turret and probably a camera below it. Yep, or, you know. We have, looks like a mod and a bio whatever. Oh, hey, buddy. One of, one of my buddies. Right, so I guess you could just jump over this, maybe? Is there a... There's got to be a way to disable... Oh, man. I'm going to try pushing this. Because that'll take two tools. A little bit more. Just a little bit. Don't push it anymore. I don't even know if I can jump over that. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Do it, pussy. <laughs> uh, jump lasers but probably oh I don't yeah maybe I don't to go. Wonderful. my people will take control when you move out I believe you know Chad I've given him control of an NSF platoon on loan to me from America indeed there's another camera over there secondary goal complete which I mean it's great and all but I still need to find... Ooh, there's a lot of security. Like, a lot, a lot. Do I... How do I dis... I mean, that box disables the lasers, but there's got to be an actual... My best bet is probably run into the middle. But I don't see... What? This fort dates back to when the Templars managed the French treasury for Philip the Fair. They moved it here from the temple in Paris after the crackdown of 1307. The Nazis boxed it up for shipment to Berlin, but had to abandon the cathedral during the evacuation. Mm-hmm. Well. Right. So it might be a good idea to cloak. I think that hides us from cameras. Right? Maybe. I don't know if it does anything versus cameras. There's another one, of course. 
Well, let's... Right. Cameras can still see you. Well then. Okay, well. More ambrosia. I mean, that's... It's fine and all. There it is. Ah, uh, we'll just hack. I don't know if the same number and password would work. Alright. Off enemies, off enemies, and off enemies. There are no enemies in here. And I think that's all of those, so let's turn those off. That didn't actually turn off the laser beams, though. Which is kind of a shame. Weapon mod scope. I don't know if I'll be able to use that with any of my stuff, but... Okay. Guess we'll put it on the the trank. How do I use the scope? Mm-hmm. That's a question, right? Settings, controls, oh no, uh cancel. Keyboard mouse. Uh mm -hmm. toggle scope left bracket. Okay. Toggle laser sight, right bracket. I figured it would just automatically be on, right? Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, you can see it. Cool. Well, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Not super useful. Oh yeah, it's got the Nazi, Nazi gold. Get it. Reload. Anti tank. Upgrade the trank darts, or darts in general. Lots of ambrosia. Ooh, I'll take rockets. Random rat. And there's still that. Right? Oh, can we hop on these? Not really, no, but it's cool. I have those leg things. All right, well. Okay, that works. Hmm. Aha. I don't know if I'll be able to... There we go. Bueno. What about you? Range. Range is good. Oh, that's maxed out. So... Eh. You know. Max range, 300 feet. Max range, 100 feet. Alright. If that's what we need. Is that it? I mean, it was definitely worth coming down here for those weapons mod. I mean, you know, sort of. And this is going to sound an alarm. But whatever, I guess. Hopefully nothing comes of it. I hear the robots scanning, but... It doesn't sound like they're otherwise activated. 
And I've, I've taken out all the guards that I know of. Okay, the alarm's down. Let's give it a second to, to cool, for everybody to cool off. We'll save also. Jump lasers, I did so. It's all right. Oh, baton. Oh, did I forget the thing? Well, that's fine. You know what? Screw it, let's go back there. I want my goggles. <laughs> I suppose I could blow him up. I wonder if that resets the timer. For it to turn off, you know? Oh! Because the alarm is still going. Well, that's crap. Well, I took I took that hit, you know. I wasn't uh, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention, so it's fine. Uh, let's see. Found it was zero zero two two. I wonder what the importance of that is. Is hopefully I'm too close to the thing. My new masters, huh? That might be the case. All right. I bet that's like the, the most powerful thing somehow. Hmm. I ooh no. What is this? Exploration bonus. I mean, I'll take it. Okay. So that's how you get there without blowing up any of the stuff, but it's fine. Oh, it just shuts on. Well, don't don't auto shut, you silly goose. Oh god, don't. Please, please don't. Okay, okay. Alright, we're good. Well, Herman's probably gonna kill me. I didn't see him on the cameras, though. That's what bothers me. Right, so that's the camera. I mean, unless he's hiding behind one of the pillars, that's a possibility as well. Right? I mean, where is he? And there's the... the hollow thing, where he's talking to Simons, possibly. There's a spot over there. Let's click this and see what happens. No new messages. Okay. Where is Herman? Crap here. Okay, well, let's. Now you see that you cannot succeed all alone against the whole world. Join me. You came all the way to Paris to tell me that. 
It is a simple message I am demonstrating. We know where you are going and what you intend. That doesn't mean you can stop me. I have been upgraded for this assignment. Okay, well... Oh, crap! Run! Run! Um... Oh crap. Well, I'm toast. I can't see him. Uh, yeah, okay. Wait, where is he? Also. I mean, you kind of suckered me, to be honest, because you engaged me in dialogue, which means you immediately. Oh. Huh. I could probably lure him to that, uh, the gold area with all the turrets. Right? I mean, he kind of suckers me because it's like you, you know, I'm in the dialogue mode and then, uh, Let's turn the cameras on. I want to see what happens. Like maybe the alarms will be going, but the turrets won't attack me. That would that would be acceptable also. Camera status, camera status. Camera status. Okay. Well, All right. Okay, that's acceptable. Right, we wait. I'm gonna wait for that to turn off. I'm gonna save again and then we'll uh and then we'll get in there. Can I just, like, run underneath it, even if it sees me and, you know? You know, and, and see what happens. Yeah, the whole engage me in dialogue and then you immediately pull out your weapon and stuff. Running seems to probably be the best policy. Just because that way you can... And to be fair, you can pause and, uh, you know, turn on mods and... Or, uh augmentations and weapons and all that other stuff. You could do pretty much, you know, not everything, but probably everything. I know I just contradicted myself. I don't care. Checkmate atheists. <laughs> or whatever, you know? It's all good. Okay, let's try this. Oh, it still sees me. So it does follow you directly straight down below it. Come on, man. Yes, obey your new masters. Come to me. Come to me. He's been upgraded. How so? Uh, we went up here before, and did we get anything out of this? No, just... Well, I mean, we got this. They have a lot of ambrosia also. don't like it. I was like, I can't go down, so let me back up a little bit, and that's where the little, like, drop or whatever came from. I think I will save again. We know where you're going. I'm just gonna stand up.
Yep, as soon as... Now you'll see that you cannot... You came all the way to Paris to tell me that. It is a simple message I am telling. That doesn't mean you can stop me. I have been upgraded. I believe I will enjoy this. Okay. Enjoy it then. Oh, there he is. Come on. Is he going to come at me if I go in here? Come on, where are you? I don't hear him. There he is. Come on, dude. There you are. Come this way. Is he coming? He's coming. All right, cool. Oh, sorry. No! Well, hang on. Okay, my cloak is going. There he is. I need to... I need to hit him before... Wait. Where is he? Oh, he's not attacking my buddy, is he? Oh, well. You are not... The turrets are not doing as great of a job as I was hoping they would, to be honest. Or did he shoot them? Need a skull gun, I see. Oh, they did throw, destroy the thingamabob, didn't they? Well, here's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna drop the rocket. We're gonna pick up the anti-tank. Okay, where is he? Seriously, where is he? He did not get killed. Did he run away? There's no way he got killed. Where'd he go? Did he get killed and I didn't notice? Or did he run somewhere? See, this is the worst because it's not the worst, but it's like I didn't see him get taken down. Yeah, there's not much I can do as far as... I mean, I can't... He must have gotten destroyed. But I, I find that really difficult to believe. He killed my buddy, though. You know? My... Like, that was interesting. He was going after that little robot. Right, because that's active. All the turrets are still... Like, he didn't... drop anything.
It's a single shot, right? Yeah, integrated one shot. I guess I'll drop this right here in the middle. And, uh, I mean, I guess he's dead. I find that, I find that really difficult to believe, but maybe that's the case. Right? I mean, I don't see him on any of these. And I don't think he's got a cloak like, uh, what's her name? Navara had. All the cameras are off. Um, back here, I suppose. Hmm. We'll see. We shall see. I mean, it's always possible he glitched out or something. You know, I just wish... It, it's, it is annoying that they explode and don't leave a body. Like, not even... Not even a burn mark, you know? Like, when she exploded... No burn mark or anything. There was one. He was going after that little robot, though. I don't understand why. He was super pissed at it. Like, super pissed. Like, he was shooting that with everything he had. Used all of his flamethrower. And I wonder, because he switched to... A weapon, or a, like a machine gun or something after a while. So... Did he run out of... Can they run out of ammo? Don't know. Alright, what about you? Um, this is probably the same one. Was it three five, three four five oh one, and then eight eight seven oh one one? I don't. Um, oh, zero eight seven one one. Zero eight seven one one. Email first and then establish system uplink. No email. Okay. System uplink. Boom. Data lock disengaged. System uplink transfer enabled. There it is. Hello. Hello, Simons. We did certainly teach you how to fight, didn't we? You're worried, Simons. We almost have a cure. You have nothing. Even if Everett succeeds, you can't synthesize enough vaccine to stop an epidemic. You need a universal constructor, and don't think Page Industries is going to leave one lying around for you to use. Not after you blew up the one in Hong Kong. I was never properly trained in its operation. Laugh it up, Denton. Next time we won't use an old box of bolts like Gunter. The only reason I let him go to Paris is that I was sick of his moaning about Navarra and constant requests for a tune-up. You sent him because you knew he would fight to the death. He was the last of the mechs. Next time you will face someone of your own abilities. Not Paul. Hopefully. Hopefully not Paul. Um, unless they're talking about the... Was it the P-Series or something like that? There was the Nano Machines, but they were talking about an additional... Like a one... After that. And then, you know, he... They talked about the, the primary and, oh, we still have the secondary. But I assumed... I assumed they meant Paul and then JC. Uh, but... You know, who knows? Ooh. Who knows? I'm sure we'll find out in time. Alright. Uh, guess. Guess. Gunther. 
dead. I guess he's dead. He must be. Simon said he was, so that must have triggered the flag or whatever, you know? I'm getting what I need. Good work. I will now consent to meet you in person. Go to the metro station nearby and await my instructions. Sounds good. Yep, I was I was just about to look and be like, is it active? Yeah. You know, I'm curious, like, could you could you just cloak and uh, shoot a rocket at, at Gunther and would that take him out? No telling. All right, let's GTFO. The me metro is that way. I don't know why I stuttered there, but, um, you know, yeah, we'll just just do a little jog, a little jog right across here. Nothing to see here, folks. Whoop. You know, it's an interesting thing, right? Is, um... I might be a pawn, right? Like, the Illuminati might not be the good guys either. It's all about secretly ruling the world, after all. Oh. Your systems were very cooperative. Upload complete. So Paige is going to be the final boss? That's kind of... I, you know, it's interesting that games like this uh they kind of were thinking outside the box a lot of the time. Like, System Shock was really unique in that regard because you're basically... Uh, your main enemy is only capable of indirectly attacking you. You know, uh, what's her... Shodan had to send, like, her minions and stuff. So it was kind of like she was playing chess against you. Uh, and that was pretty interesting. And then, you know, the final... The cyberspace was shit. And then uh, the final boss fight... That was garbage. I mean, they wanted a climax, I understand, and, and you know, but whatever. Um, the first one, I, I haven't played the second one still, I need to. Um, but I'm going to be... I assume, at least with this, it's going to continue kind of the... The... How it's done it so far, which is multiple solutions to a problem. So we're probably going to have to fight Paige. Um... Herman, I mean, I guess you could do what I did and run, right? Lure him in there and let the turrets finish him off. Fight him face to face. That's one option. Maybe, I mean, I wish you could have, like, tranked him or something. Maybe threw an, thrown an EMP grenade. I don't think you can. Who knows? You know, disable him. Like, do a non-lethal thing. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be a little... It's a little disappointing. Like, I wanted just to... I didn't want to have a final boss fight. If that, if that makes any sense. Like, because... It... Boss fights are... They always do it. And so, I was like, this game is interesting. It's different. And so, oh, final boss fight. Well, you know, then it's kind of just like everything else. But... You know... As long as they make it interesting, and as long as they make multiple options, right? Not just duke it out with them or something like that. Like, that's kind of, you know... Like, I guess Paige is looking for, what, immortality or something? And I was a prototype. Hey, buddy. Maybe now we're gonna snipe him? Oh, for... 
My associate, Toby Atanwe, will meet you below. All right. Can I just slip down here without the dude seeing me? Let's hope so. I think I did. Loading. We're just going to stay crouched. Hopefully we find a new best friend, or either of our two best friends, the uh, little little robots. Repair bot or medical bot. Oh, right. Well, I have a flare. I'll just throw one into that corner right there. Yeesh. I don't like the dark. There we go. Brilliant. Wait, I backed up into this. Is there a different way? Hmm. I have 50. I can afford to use another couple. Um. It's already been used. Um. Was he supposed to be here and it just didn't load properly or something? Right? Or, you know? Um, in the metro station, I'm here. Meet you below. Did he did he not spawn? Is it a bug? Oh, that's not good. I don't know what that lighting was, but Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. There you go. Didn't load. <laughs> Fair enough. Those are police, and they're green. I bet if you fought them earlier, they'd be hostile. Police. Metro. Well, let's... You know, there don't seem to be... Ooh, yeah. Well... Okay, how do I get below? Is this the way? Hmm. How do I open this door? Can I just break it? Is that inappropriate to break it? This one opens. Travel adversaries are in effect. Okay, thank you. Well, I guess I can go in there, but I can't... Russell Witters? Why can't I go through here? Okay. Well. And it won't let me right click either, which means it's a door. And maybe it should be opening, but it's not. Concrete barricade. Um. Well, okay, so below, which presumably is that way, because that one has stairs that go down, but let's check this out also. Well, he's friendly. Maybe. Metro. Oh, I see now. Your friend is waiting by the tracks. Do you know me? More gangsters every day. You have weapons? I am selling weapon modifications. 750 for accuracy. 800 for range. Also, I was lucky to find a thermoptic camo. 5,000. Nah, I'm good. No thanks. I am good. So we got some wine. We got some soy, which I will eat both of. 
and newspaper, which we'll also read. Right, grab the soy, shove it in your face. Grab the wine, wash it down with. Speaking of which, and then uh, over here, wait, was that the only pick upable things? Let's turn on the light. It's dark in here. There we go, much better. Uh, we'll drink the water also, I think. United States Institutes Martial Law. We kind of are that way right now here in the US with the lockdowns and stuff and you get arrested for going outside. Ugh, Nat. In a moment of speech held at 2.30 p.m. Eastern today, President Meade announced the declaration of martial law throughout the United States, citing a fundamental threat to the American way of life in the form of organized insidious terrorism. With major American cities also already reeling under the impact of the Great Death, looting and rioting have reached disastrous levels while terrorist attacks have grown increasingly ubiquitous, climaxing in the attack on UNACO headquarters in New York, in New York last week. Local authorities have so far proven ineffectual in stemming the tide of violence, and even Washington, D.C. has been hit by an outbreak of the Grey Death. Highly placed sources have speculated that Meade himself may be infected. President Meade appointed Walton, appointed Walton Simons, director of FEMA, to spearhead an interim council tasked with managing the government response. We will do everything, everything that is in our power to restore the peace and security of the average American, said Simons. In no way will this violate the civil liberties that have made this country great. Instead, we pledge to do everything in our power to safeguard those liberties against all who would see them torn apart. So I've thought about this. And the problem with freedom is that it basically means that people are free to screw everything up for themselves and everyone else, right? It's like, you're, you're free, but you can really, you know, you can get people killed, you can do all this other stuff, but it's like, at the same, at the same time, <sighs> there, there has to be a balance between security and freedom. Like, you need laws, right? You can't just walk into someone's apartment or house and take all their stuff. So, oh, I've read this already. And I assume this is the same. Yep. All right. Anything back here? You know, there's crates. Let's use another flare. Okay. Now that we've filled our belly full of water and uh, soy and wine. Make sure your travel documents are in order. Thanks, man. See, I don't know how I'm supposed to get through that other place. Can I just blow it up or, or what? Guess we'll see. Sortie. Only a couple of trains are running. Yep. Do I just take the train? Is that how this is supposed to work? Advancement bonus. There's a rat. Do not step on the rat. Make sure your travel documents are in order. Big Daddy Love. Uh huh. Well, this is France. Does that mean uh, it's uh, spicy? The DVD is spicy. Don't step on the tracks. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> You know? Is this Philbin? JC Denton. I will take you to Everett, but you will be forbidden to learn the way yourself. That will be quite a trick. You will not be armed in any way. Uh, do what you must or forget it. I will find Everett on my own. Interesting. I feel like... I'm going to say do what you must, but I feel like this way is... If there are multiple endings... I mean, there are multiple endings. There must be. I'm I'm certain. Um, 
does this steer you towards one of the endings? Or is this, uh, you know, can we be loyalist towards Yunako from the beginning? You know what I mean? So I'll say do what you must. Do what you must. Step a little closer. All right. See, no inconvenience whatsoever. The nerve. Everett must be paranoid. We all are. The Illuminati is getting a taste of its own medicine. Has he made any progress on the Great Death Virus? Your uplink provided the missing encryption key. He has been able to complete the work that Presser Tong began. I must see him at once. He is downstairs in the lab. Right on. Please tell me there's a repair bot and my two, my other buddy. Hmm, have I been here? What happens if I break the window and jump out? Is this where the thing was walking by? The big robot? It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Can I talk to you again? It would be rather serendipitous if Bob Page invented something ever could not figure out. How? Yep, we're not going to be able to leave yet. Sounds like a turret, though. And computers. I'm not. You know, everybody wants to rule the world, so to speak. I mean, they do. Credits, steal his money. Mmm, the music again. Unlocked. Oh. Well. Nano key, aquarium hatch key. Aquarium hatch key. There is a medkit right there, which I may as well heal my leg up a little bit. There we go. Boom. And a candy bar. I will eat that too, why not? Eat everything. But this isn't the New York music. Was this, uh, was this the music that was playing at the... Um... Playing at... The mansion? Lots of wine, lots of liquor. Let's talk to this lady. You missed dinner, but help yourself to a snack. Okay, thank you. Carmella. Do not to disturb Lucius De Beers. De Beers, huh? I like the beers myself. I know. I know it's a terrible joke. I'm not funny. <laughs> De Beers. Da Bears. What is this? Oh, binoculars. I have them already. De Beers. Mm-hmm. I know. I've slept like crap all week, and then I stay up late because I'm a dumbass. So, you know. All right, let's grab this other liquor. Looks like some of the good stuff. You know, I wonder if I can still find some of that Nuka-Cola rum. The Fallout 76 stuff? I hear it's awful. Right on. Hey, buddy. All right, so we probably can get up there, but I don't think it'll do anything for us. Mm-hmm. There you go. 
There's a cat. Don't step on the cat. Aquarium key. <coughs> oh, well. Oh. Okay. That's probably where we have to go. Or not. Nope. This is. And I saw... Looked like... Oh, but more augmentations. I want the upgrade stuff. Hey, man! Whoa. House plant. Okay. Good news, huh? Looks like we might pull this thing off. Alex, what are you doing here? Tong sent me. He wanted me to help with the decryption. Looks like Everett has it all figured out. Listen quickly. Tong doesn't trust the Illuminati. He sent me here to keep an eye on Everett. I see. How about the triads? Is the truth going to hold? Last I heard, but I guess we have other things to worry about now, huh? I'll keep you in touch through your info link. I'll try my best to keep you informed. Yes, do exactly that. Keep me informed. Okay, we have to stop here in a second, but we're gonna take the... And I saw my buddy the repair bot also. Although, you know, that's fine. We got some soda. Let's see, Toby, I'm afraid I'll be in the lab for quite a while concentrating on this most interesting new development. If you need to access the security system, this week's code is PINCHIN. We should be especially wary now with the recent turn of events. I imagine Bobby is feeling the first signs of apprehension, and he tends to overreact when that happens. And if Lucius continues to complain, you may access his life support with the same password at the central computer. Please don't raise his temperature more than a degree, as I don't want him thawing out. What? Did the maid say something about Lucius De Beers? Okay, what is this? Hmm. I don't know. Conversations, Carmella. Help yourself to a snack. Well, okay. Um. Okay. Don't step on the cat. Oh, so Morgan's got to be over there. That's cool. So where... I'm going to check out that other door first. Not the, not the one down there behind the mirror, but there was another one over here, I think. Yeah, right here. Oh, weird. Okay. So I don't know what the deal is with this, but it goes to a security system. Which you either have the lock, the key for, or you don't. Huh. You know, I'd be curious. I feel like, what if you just went straight Yunako from the beginning and you're like, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll infiltrate the, these guys. I'll pretend to be, you know, pro Illuminati and then I'll turn on them. You know what I mean? Aha. Well, we won't worry about that. Um, I think I should stop, though. Wait, wait, is that an upgrade? There is an upgrade canister. Cool. And more of those, you know. 
Let us save. Meeting Morgan. Yes. Wait, hang on. Make sure there's no cats. Make sure there's no cats underneath me when I move the chair back. Don't want to run over any kitties. Um, that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really hope you're... I mean, I really do appreciate it, and I really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. I'm having a blast. You know, and I think I mentioned in the last episode or the one before, eventually my channel is going to get taken down. I, I do believe that to be the case. Hopefully not for a while. Um, you know, it's just... It's a matter of time. The the victim culture culture is just uh it's just evolving you know so even if you do you know because the whole like oh well why play hentai games if if you're you just think that it might get you banned in the future it's like it, it doesn't matter that's the thing it's a sliding scale as they take out more and more people eventually to keep the drama going and the the oppression going right they're gonna have to go after more moderate people so you know, you could say, like, I think Twitch banned people for saying there's only two genders. You know? And it's it's only going to get worse. They have that new trust and safety council or whatever, and they put all the... You know, it's all about anti-bullying and, and all that stuff. They know what they're doing. People are like, how could they do this? They're so clueless. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. Um, you know, they're doing it. They're going to have some gamers around, but mostly it's going to be a, a place for, you know, Twitch thoughts because that generates a ton of money, right? Those, because there's so many, there's so many people and the power of marketing is incredible. I mean, just look at, look at sitcoms. You know, if you see any sitcom, there's, there's like clips of uh bing, bang, big, bang theory that I've taken away the laugh track it's bad it's real bad but that's the thing it's the marketing push you can make anyone famous you just push them enough or you have the the publicity behind it you're like this person's famous and people just believe people believe the news they'll be like that channel of news is fake but this one's not. It's like they're all the same, dude. They're all the same. They're all fake. You can make anyone into the top Twitch streamer. Like seriously, you look at you look at the stuff I'm doing, right? I have, you know, 100 subscribers, give or take. And people look at that and they're like, oh, well, you're a lesser content creator than, you know, say, PewDiePie, PewDiePie, Markiplier, whatever. But you look at their stuff and it's the same. It's the same as mine. It's not very much different. The only difference is they're pushed. And, you know, of course, just luck and other stuff. It's they just happen to. There is skill there, and they did, but, you know, right place, right time, you know? So, um, yeah, just enjoy the ride while it happens. Eventually, we're all going to get taken down. YouTube will collapse. Twitch will collapse. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, it's kind of a down note, but it's not supposed to be. It's like, you know, enjoy the now, right? So, anyway, uh, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? Kind of in the same vein, right? For me, it's uh, episode two of Behind the Dune is is finally done. It took a few things, uh, a few going back and, and re-editing it, because for some reason, the video editing software that I use had... Like, I'd, I'd cut, so it would change it would change scenes in the game. And so it'd go from, you know, hentai to non-hentai or hentai to non-hentai or whatever. Not. So I'd have to cover it up for YouTube and BitChute. But for some reason, it was like not putting the picture that I put over it 
in line with the frames where I cut. So all of a sudden, you know, you have some chick with her legs spread or whatever, and then it, it goes to a different scene, and right before it does so, picture goes away, and I'm like, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> you know? Manny's head right over the naughty bits, and all of a sudden his face disappears, and you just see everything for like three frames, and I'm like, why? I have no idea. I had to draw it out for an extra like second and it's covered now after like three renderings or whatever you know three hours worth of, of processing and maybe more I have no idea but the point is it's done the point is it's done and I also found a new possible issue that I, just to be aware of in the future so that's my unique pause of moment hopefully your guys is just as good if not better hopefully better of course and I hope to see you guys next time till then guys Take care.